Welcome back to the PLG123. Today we're talking about SurveyMonkey versus Qualtrics. Let's dive in. I was on Product Hunt the other day and saw something jarring. This headline that said, Product-Led Growth's Failure by Evan Armstrong and immediately thought, come on, man. But then I started reading Evan's post and realized I actually agree. The post is comparing SurveyMonkey, who took a bottom-up PLG approach to its biggest competitor, Qualtrics, who took a top-down sales-led approach. So look, you can't argue with the numbers. SurveyMonkey today is worth 2.6 billion and Qualtrics is worth 13 billion. So if PLG is so great, where did SurveyMonkey go wrong? This article points to two things, product marketing and enterprise sales. First up on product marketing. While the functionality is similar, SurveyMonkey is 100% focused on, well, surveys. It says it right there in the name. It sounds tactical because surveys are a tool and not a solution. Qualtrics took the exact opposite approach and focused on solutions, results, and business outcomes. They avoided the word survey like the plague. So instead, they created a new category focused on delivering value through enterprise solutions and called it experience management. The second point is about enterprise sales. SurveyMonkey has a strong viral loop attached to a self-service funnel. That combination has the potential for PLG magic, but it can also be a dangerous drug. If you stay on it too long before adding a sales motion, you never really graduate from small deals with small teams. Qualtrics never really overthought it and instead ran a classic aggressive sales-led playbook with a goal of more reps, more volume, more enterprise logos, bigger ACVs, and generally speaking, more cowbell on all things outbound go-to-market. In closing, I think this is an important comparison to make. PLG must evolve messaging from tactical tool to valuable solution, and you can't wait too long to add an enterprise sales motion. Thankfully, we have great examples like Zoom, Datadog, Atlassian, and others who have done exactly this. Well, that does it for today on the PLG 123. Make sure to follow me for more videos featuring VC perspectives on today's top stories.